It actually responds like a real dog, doesn't it? Look at that. <laughs> Hello everyone. So today we're going to build the doggy robot from UGOT. And these are the components that is required. So it's a bit more than what is normally needed. And especially this one is quite chunky, isn't it? But probably this is going to be my favorite because this reminds me of Boston Dynamic, that robot. But this one uniquely from UGOT has a chat GPT technology on it. So I'm really excited to try it out. So here it goes. So moment of truth, let's actually turn the power on. It says you got again. Ah, okay. That seems to be quite well balanced. I'm very happy about that. So there was no wiring issue whatsoever because there was a bit of a risk on the front. When you actually put in the cover and take this um, longer wire out, you're not really sure uh, which one is which side. So I had to make a lucky guess but four out of four seems to be working all just fine. Look at that, it's just really a cool looking dog robot, isn't it? Kind of like Boston Dynamics for a very good price. The good thing about this dog robot is that I'm not too concerned about this falling off the edge of the table because it's leg, not wheels. So let's actually do a bit of a um, stroking, shall we? So <laughs> look at that. So I'll do that again. So it's like a good doggy. <laughs> it actually responds like a real dog, doesn't it? Look at that. <laughs> so with the heart mark, um, it's actually raising its hand, saying thank you very much. So that's very cool. The build quality, when you hold it up, good weight. Overall, it is so good. Look at that. It sat down. Oh, it's because it has to be placed properly. There you go. <laughs> so if you tap on the screen, it comes back again. <laughs> I just love it. So I'm keep stroking it. <laughs> it's like a real dog, isn't it? Very much like Boston Dynamics. Good dog, good dog. <laughs> so that's going forward and backwards. Uh, you can't really change the direction on this one. It's just forward, backwards. And if you want to change the direction, it's going to be the right hand side joystick. So you can actually make a phone call or video conference call, record video, take photo. And this is quite an interesting one, actually. This basically shows the way how a dog sort of gestures. So let's do the first one. <laughs> so it's like a good dog sitting down laying down actually i like this one it's quite neat or if you can make the dog sit <laughs> that's very cool um raise its hand like a good old robot hello doggy <laughs> yeah dogs usually do that don't they uh, so that's really cool and lastly let's see whether this one is just like that stretch, isn't it? Once it wakes up. So on this doggy uh, robot, it has a doggy dance. So if you click on it, it will be able to do a cute dog dance program. So after download is complete, uh, if you execute, uh, the dance will basically be performed. All right, so once you download the program list, if you click on it, there is the dance robot. So let's press that to see what sort of dance it performs. So this is pre-programmed dog dance. <laughs> okay. That's pretty much it, isn't it? Okay, so let's do the maneuvering test, shall we? So that's going forward. That's going backwards. Turning to the left. And turning to the right. So a bit of a time consuming, isn't it? So you can actually turn 
left. Oh, I see. So when you actually um, move forward or backwards and then make a turn, that's quicker. Again, if I were to turn right and go forward, that's what it does. Okay. Direction when you do backwards is actually a bit slower. Okay, that's that's a bit better. Make sure you press it on the same time. <laughs> I got a robot dog, resembles to Boston Dynamics, but it has chat GPT on it. But if you look at the camera quality on it, it's not ideal, it's very shaky. Look at that. So I guess it's kind of like a doggy kind of um, sort of expression on it on the camera. So that's about it for this robot, I have to say. And one thing I actually get immediately after completing this run through is that this robot is probably the most uh, ideal model that encourages you to get into programming. I can imagine you can learn how to do shifting to left and right by commanding on each of these motors and um, going forward and backwards. I'm sure you can improve it as well. Um, I think it needs a bit of an improvement on the movement, but um, it could be mainly because we got this very soft cushioning is actually misrepresenting at the moment, but uh, we've got a tile protected flooring here. But I hope that sort of explains what this robot is about. But anyhow, um, I hope this video sort of demonstrated how cool it is to have a robot. But well, we haven't got a chat GPT yet, but imagine walking back home and you see this robotic dog greeting you, following you, responding to you with the chat GPT communication. I think it's probably going to be one of the coolest robots that you could have. So I'm very happy about it. Also the dog behavior and the gesture and so on. I think it's one of those really good price robots that could be transformed to whatever you prefer out of the seven. We got a dog robot here. So thank you very much for watching this video. I'll come back to you next one with a spider robot. So all the best. Bye-bye.